Good evening ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a second video on how to add or edit drivers in Formula One Manager 2022. It is going to be more detailed, I'm going to talk about contracts uh, and how to change names. Uh, but first of all, before you begin uh, following this guide or this uh, video, uh, please start downloading Unreal Engine down here uh, from the Epic Games Launcher, from uh, the Epic Game Store. You need uh, at least version 4.27 uh, and it takes a long time to install so please uh, do that before you begin anything else. Um, meanwhile I'll start up uh, the game so I can make a new save. Uh, you can do this with uh, your existing saves basically as well. Uh, uh, just make sure you make a backup of it uh, if you try to edit uh, anything. But uh, for this purpose only, I'll make a new save. So I have to start up the game uh, and just uh, save uh, save uh, whatever I'm doing. Let's uh, see if it starts up. Yes, there we go. Thank you. Thank you. But basically, I'm going to start a new career. It uh, doesn't matter what team you choose, Formula but, uh, One. just for here, we'll take uh, Haas. Uh, Haas joined F1 back uh, in 2016. Yes, Let's do this. Uh, I'll just go. Uh, I'm going to use a fake name today. Haha, <laughs> thank you. There we go. It's just my name of my game. There we go. Let's start it off. Hola, yes, sure, no problem. Mm -hmm. There we go. So uh, I don't need to play this save right now I, because I just want to edit it basically. Uh, damn it. Go down. Move it. So if uh, Warrior BB lets me save it, thank you. Here, there we go. Save. So I'll make a new save. And when you do this stuff, uh, remember uh, what time your game has been saved. So this ha save has been made today, the 30th, uh, the 30th of September, uh, 1 past uh, 9 uh, in the evening. So with this done, we can basically close down the game again. Because uh, we uh, are going to edit the save game. Uh, and how we are going to do that is uh, by doing uh, the following. Uh, you will need to have a few programs installed uh, to use uh, this method. Um, the first one I already uh, called out by name. That's going to be uh, the Unreal Engine, which you have to download through the Epic Store. Um, it also needs uh, the DB browser for SQLite, uh, which I will include into a link uh, to a Google Drive where you can download it. Um, and you need uh, not to forget the save uh, file repacker uh, made by Aranaktu uh, that's uh, available from a github repository uh, I'll put in the link uh, down uh, below in the video as well uh, so you need those uh, to start with uh, I hope you install those as well so we can start off uh, immediately uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to look up my save and my save file uh, folder or yours basically too are always stored in uh, your disk where you uh, where you start off with your user. Uh, see, users, uh, in my case it's Chesco and it's going to be in a hidden map uh, called app data. Uh, you might have to unhide your hidden maps to see this for Windows. Uh, with my uh, Windows version it's uh, pretty easy. I can just uh, click on show and hidden items. Uh, when you have older versions of Windows you have to go through the options and then check through the maps uh, like here I believe view and then you can just click on show hidden, uh, hidden maps well we're gonna go to app data uh, local and then in this case it's gonna be f1 manager 22 saved save games uh, and these are all your saves basically uh, like I said we had to remember the time of the save that we had uh, and that was uh, this one right here, 1 past 9. It's called save uh, 2.save. Uh, so we just copy this. We copy it. And we have to put this uh, uh, in the folder where you've installed your save file repacker. In my case, uh, it's going to be users, Chesco, save file repacker. There it is. Uh, when you download the save file repacker, it's going to have this uh, script right here, this file here. It will have two other files. You can just remove those. Uh, and this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is a Python file. You will need to download Python as well. 
uh, I will add a uh, installer for Python 3.10 in the link as well so you can download and install that as well uh, if you have trouble running Python through the installer make sure you download Python through the Microsoft Store because I don't know why but if you download it from Python's website itself it won't work for some reason I don't know so just so you know well basically what I'm gonna do I'm gonna paste uh, my uh, save file which I copied earlier into this folder right here because I want to edit it and there it is I've saved it by right clicking on it and just uh, doing paste but to edit this I need to unpack it uh, from its current form and for that uh, we are gonna need uh, the Unreal Engine basically uh, that's what it's uh, gonna be used uh, and we're gonna need to use our command prompt uh, there we, it is run as commander uh, for run as uh, administrator I'm sorry and it will open up your uh, command uh, screen uh, with a certain uh, location we don't need that location we need another location we need the location of your save file repacker where we just saved our save game so that is basically uh, C disk in my case users Chesco save file repacker it might be called something else uh, on your computer as long as it's whatever it is so what we're gonna need is we use this command right here and we copy it uh, this will be included as well in uh, in the link to download don't worry about it uh, of course it's gonna have my location so you have to change this in whatever your location is it's gonna be CD a space in between uh, quote the location unquote so I'm gonna just copy this copy I'm gonna paste it shift insert it right here uh, meaning uh, my command list will now use this location right here which is good so now we have to unpack the save game and we do that by using this line right here um, the Python script operation unpack input save uh, 13 it says here uh, but remember the save we just used uh, is called save point 2 so we are going to have to change save 13 into save 2 if your save game is called save uh, 78 dot sav just call it save 78 uh, point sav so we are gonna copy this and we can just paste it into the command prompt and i have to change this like i said because my save is called save 2 point sav and i press enter it loads really quickly on my computer and then it goes back to its uh, location with uh, which i had uh, but if we go back to the folder where we had our save game stored in the save file repacker folder we now see a new map uh, which is called result in this result folder you will find four folders in this case uh, four, fi four files I mean excuse me and we are going to have to edit main uh, with our DB browser for SQLite so I'm gonna open up DB browser SQLite there we go um, excuse me for the Dutch on my PC I'll translate it as good as I can I've done this as well in my first video um, this here is called uh, open your database and we need to find that main file which uh, I just show you guys uh, for me it's gonna be again C, uh, C disk users uh, Chesco save file repacker result main well this opens up your database in this database you can edit a whole lot of stuff uh, from contracts driver names uh, uh, you can add drivers edit drivers uh, you can uh, change uh, how much rain I believe falls in the races and stuff like that um, you can uh, edit stats whatever you can change a lot of things we uh, are just using this for now to create a driver uh, I'll do two I'll make one free agent and one uh, I'll make a contract the driver just to show you uh, how this works basically um, the only thing I need now basically I need to know what um, team uh, has is as an ID in the game so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna look for teams I've used this database a little bit uh, myself so I know a little bit how it's worked if you want to browse through a section just right click on it uh, and then browse through table um, there you go here you see all the teams in game basically uh, Haas has a staff ID uh, where is it team ID team ID ah, there it is team ID Haas has team ID 7 
I'm gonna have to remember that for now for when we use the contracts later so we are gonna use uh, we're gonna make two drivers like I said uh, and what uh, we are gonna do is uh, we're gonna need uh, the next line right here called staff common data staff common data where are you there it is staff common data I've opened it uh, there we go here we can see all drivers in the game basically uh, excuse me all personnel in the game uh, staff type 0 uh, are gonna be drivers so that's for now the only number I'm looking at uh, ones twos and threes are gonna be like uh, engineers uh, head of aerodynamics and uh, whatever the other staff rule is I forgot at the moment so to make a new driver uh, you're gonna do the following you can do this basically uh, you can go just down uh, the whole table here and you can see that we have uh, staff IDs going up to 290 so the next one we are going to create is called uh, 291 as an ID so what we're gonna do we are gonna make a new record in our current table it's uh, this icon right here with the green plus just press it and as you can see here's a new entry 291 he doesn't have a first name doesn't have uh, he has a set uh, nationality for now um, but with this driver I'm gonna do first the easy variant of how to make a driver uh, so that we don't have to edit names and with the second guy uh, I'll make it a little bit more difficult um, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use existing names that are in the database already so if I want to use a name uh, like a staff name for name um, let's see I have here uh, Philip, uh, no, excuse me, a Anthony is a good name, Anthony. So I just copy uh, this code right here, boom, and then I go down to my driver and I paste it in this uh, table right here, paste it. So his staff name, full name is going to be Anthony, and I'm going to check for another uh, another back name, uh, last name, last name, last name. Uh, let's call him, holy bloody hell, what are you going to call him? And we are going to call him. My God, where are we gonna call him? Um, let's call him Leclerc. Whatever. Uh, I'm gonna copy his last name here, his last name code, and I'll put it down here and paste it like I did with his front name. There we go. So this guy is gonna be called Anthony Leclerc. Uh, let's make him a Frenchman, basically. It's maybe better. There we go. Mm, French, French. Da, 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 da. Uh, I want him to be uh, poof. Uh, what's it gonna be? 22 years old or something. Uh, so it's going to be uh, something like uh, 2000 uh, and I'll make him uh, born uh, like in uh, 5 uh, 5 it doesn't really matter at this moment in time because what determines the age of your driver is this line right here in DOB um, and if I want him to be 22 I need to look up another driver who is 22 as well uh, and I believe uh, Lando Norris is 22 so what I'm going to do I'm going to look up here Lando Norris uh, I'll copy this right here, copied it, uh, it's DOB number, um, there we go, I'll paste it right here. So this here will determine that I'm going to be 21 or 22 uh, depending on what date it is in the game. Uh, so that's that. Uh, what you can do further in this screen, if you go to the right here, uh, you can set his retirement age. Uh, I believe uh, in the database as is constructed you can make a driver retire at maximum 40. Um, there is a stat in here which you can change. I believe it's driver data. No, I'm lying. Well anyway, it doesn't matter you have to look that up yourselves because I don't know it uh, by memory. Uh, we'll make his retirement age for now, uh, where is he? We're gonna go. Have to go down. Uh, retirement age, thirty-seven or something. Thirty-seven should be alright. So we click on a stable. We edit it. Press enter. There you go. And you can see his retirement age will be now thirty-seven. Uh, gender will be zero for men, uh, one for females. Uh, if you have a one in retired, it means that he's retired already. So that's uh, basically what it means. You can also uh, put in some unspent XP so that you can give him some. Uh, some development points by the beginning of the game uh, but anyway Anthony Leclerc is uh, 291 let's see what we have here uh, is generated staff so that means he's gonna have a custom uh, a photograph 
uh, face type whatever we can just ignore that for now uh, best team formula we'll just leave it as is because we're going to give him a contract anyway uh, in the next few minutes uh, so what are we going to do now we finished this basically now we're going to continue on uh, to driver data staff driver data because uh, we need to give our driver uh, his driver code uh, basically the, the abbreviation you see in the game uh, when you see his lap times and stuff like that uh, his last name is Leclerc so that's gonna be easy we can copy it from uh, Charles Leclerc uh, in game here so how are we gonna do this same way as we did before insert a new record the staff ID of our driver was 291 so we are gonna have to change it to 79 by clicking on it and you can see the drop down menu and we have to go down to 291 which is the last entry here you can uh, pick a number uh, of how good he can improve uh, how many points you'll get extra basically we'll put it up very high to 90 that's going to be okay you can set here his aggression i'll leave that uh, on 50 which is going to be fine so this is the driver code placeholder uh, at the moment uh, we're going to need to change that for his last name into leclerc who has staff id number two so i can find him very easily i copy his driver code down uh, up there and i put it down here by pasting it as well so he is going to have the same uh, abbreviation uh, once a drive, uh, champion driver number will mean that if he becomes champion he gets uh, number one uh, by doing that you have to do one if you don't you have to put in zero uh, it's the last known driver number uh, I'll make it uh, 70 uh, 19 for now that's uh, basically a number I know which isn't used in the game basically uh, if me lets me allow it there there you go last known number 19 assigned car number for now I'll leave that open because I'm gonna give him a contract later for you guys and has raised enough to join of one uh, one for yes zero for no um, so there we go uh, assigned car number uh, well basically we can already give him 19 there we go because we're gonna give him that contract anyway uh, and we are gonna do that uh, by doing uh, the following now we are gonna go to staff contracts again here are all the personnel in the game uh, but for now they only have as you can see up until entry 274 so again we have to make a new record in our uh, current table by pressing on the icon on the top and you'll see here appear another screen a little block and it will ask you for your staff ID contract types etc etc well staff ID guess what it was 291 we used that uh, a contract type you can just leave it as is uh, accepted yes of course uh, team ID this is important you know uh, what team Haas was team 7 remember that so you put in there team 7 his position in the team is going to mean which car he's going to drive uh, I will make him replace uh, Magnussen uh, Magnussen is the number two driver in the team so I am going to put here the number two if you want him to be a reserve driver you make him number three if you want him to make uh, to be the first driver you make him number one uh, the opinions you can just leave as they are basically uh, the con the end season of the contract put in whatever you want I uh, I will do it here like uh, 2024 which is uh, basically fine uh, the salary I won't go as high so I just put in 120,000 uh, the opinion again you can leave it as is uh, if you want you can add uh, more numbers like starting bonus uh, whatever you want uh, but basically it's not that important because you can always give him a new contract when you're in the game and uh, when you're done press save uh, as is and as you see you will now have 291 in Haas uh, in 7 if you want to give him uh, if you are using another team just look at the table here in teams what the team ID of your team is and just put in uh, the team ID you need uh, to put in there uh, I believe Ferrari is number one uh, if I remember or free uh, whatever it is just use the, the correct number uh, but basically what we have to do now we have to remove Magnussen's contract uh, from the game because we will have two drivers now a uh, second driver in Haas and that will crash the game immediately so what are we gonna do uh, we have to go back to our staff common data and we have to go and look up uh, Magnussen I'll do it by last name which is a little bit more easy if you put it on alphabet uh, where are you Magnussen there, Kevin Magnussen is staff ID 255. I'm gonna have to remember it 55. So I'm going back to contracts and I'm gonna look up number 255. 255, 255, 255. There it is. So this entry right here, I have to pick 
the whole line here where it gets blue the whole line is blue now of Kevin Magnuson staff ID 255 I right click on the on the first row here uh, outside of the table right click and I'm gonna delete this record so I'm gonna delete this contract completely which is good so now we have only one driver in our team uh, a second driver which is gonna be uh, Anthony Leclerc so uh, the last thing to do for this driver right here uh, is assign his driver number you can do that by doing going to staff driver numbers um, let's check uh, Magusin if he still has that number because we can basically just uh, remove his number 255 I'm gonna look up for his ID for 255 uh, where is he where is he where is he I cannot find him maybe because we've thrown him out of his contract but uh, 291 let's see if he's already in there no he's not so guess what we're gonna do we're gonna look up the number 19 which I gave my driver click here on the current holder and I'm gonna scroll completely down to 291 so number 19 goes to driver 291 and as you can see here is Magnuson he gets number 20 uh, base I think we can just delete this for now no because nobody's driving with 20 at the moment so this is for the driver numbers it's important to do though because this may cause a crash as well if you don't do this correctly um, the last thing to do basically is to make your driver uh, make your driver stats uh, you will go have uh, you will have to go to staff uh, and then performance stats staff performance stats there they are boom and this uh, puts in another screen so as you can see here are all the staff IDs uh, number one is Lewis Hamilton I believe and these are his uh, stat IDs this will mean uh, every stat ID is one of his abilities in the game uh, the max value is 100 for everyone in this game standard and these are his current abilities uh, every driver has nine abilities you know like uh, cornering accelerations uh, braking blah 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 uh, I'll call them all uh, by name in a moment uh, once we edit them but we are going to have to do this nine times so this is going to take a, line, a long time and we're going to have to do this for another driver as well in a second so what are we going to do we're going to scroll down as we can see the last driver in the stable is 290 so our driver is in because he's 291 well the same trick applies here as well insert a new record in the current table the same block as earlier appeared staff ID Anthony Leclerc is 291 so we're gonna make 291 now for the stat IDs I am gonna look up that in my phone uh, stat ID number two we're gonna need um, to edit number two through uh, number ten because uh, those are nine abilities number two is cornering uh, his max value is 100 uh, like everybody else and I'm gonna make this a badass dude I'm gonna give him 99 uh, in everything at the moment uh, or let's say 90 90 is good as well uh, and as you can see when you save it here 291 has his first skill down here uh, so we're gonna have to do this uh, eight more times uh, for every skill 291 there we go stat ID 3 is breaking uh, and again I'm gonna put in our 90 max 100 there we go save next up is skill number four number four is control uh, four 90 100 save Just scroll down so that you sometimes won't forget which uh, skill you put in last uh, boom plus again 291 5 uh, skill number 5 is for smoothness well, everything is going to 90 so there you go boom uh, plus again 291 skill number 6 skill number six is adaptability I believe that has to do with uh, rain and changing conditions and stuff like that also everything 90 for this guy for now uh, you can put in uh, at value whatever you want if you want to make him a little bit uh, less of a driver or even better or you want to max him out you can do whatever you want so no problem at all uh, I believe you were at seven uh, seven is gonna be overtaking now let's make him a 90 as well 100 and save uh, the last one was seven. My memory uh, leaves me flustered sometimes. Uh, eight is gonna be defense. No, this Frenchman uh, will make him very bad at defense. Let's make him a 60 out of 100. That's not very bad, but it's just decent. 
Uh, let's see, uh, skill number 9. Uh, 291 first. Uh, number 9 is going to be uh, acceleration. Well, also as well, 90 out of 100. There you go. There you can see. Uh, and his last skill, number 10. Uh, 291, Anthony Leclerc. Uh, number 10 is uh, going to be accuracy. Uh, there you can put in the 10. Well, it's going to be, uh, let's say, 90 here as well. So let's put in 90 out of a max value of 100. So now we have all his nine abilities here. Uh, and this is basically uh, how it works. Uh, this is the very easy mode um, to do it. Uh, you uh, can as well, uh, you can keep it as well, uh, but of course some of us will like to uh, put in uh, our fathers uh, or ourselves in the game or our brothers or friends of ours, uh, but their names probably won't be in the game uh, in the Volta file. The Volta file is like a little bit of the head database in the game, uh, more or less. Uh, it's a little bit of a shallow uh, uh, shallow explanation but that's basically what it is but if you decide to make a driver with a custom name um, you will have to edit a few things so we are going to start uh, all over again for our second drivers so we have to going to go to staff common data found it well and the, basically the trick is almost the same uh, you want to insert a new record in here um, I'll put the staff IDs uh, chronologically there. Uh, plus, uh, the green plus for a new record in the current table. And here comes number 292. Well, staff type 0 because he's, he's going to be a driver. Uh, we'll make this guy an Italian just for uh, just for uh, my sake. Uh, it's a little bit more easier for me in that case. Um, so, what I'm going to do, I want uh, to give him the name. Uh, Chesco is basically my name. Uh, it's, it's short, but it's, it's the same name. But um, this name won't be in the database. I know that because I've tried already, basically. So what you are going to have to do, you are going to have to pick a driver in this database uh, to be used as a, a, placeholder, a placeholder of sorts. Well, I will never game uh, in this game with, uh, for example, Federico Malvestiti because he's 17 and he sucks in the game so basically I'm never going to use but what I am going to do uh, I am going to use his codes basically so I'm going to copy Federico I'm going to paste it into number 292 I'm also taking his last name because I'm, I'm going to change that as well I'm going to make it something else I don't know what yet but something else completely I'm going to copy his code as well um, so it will seem as if we will have two uh, different drivers here, uh, two same drivers, but not yet. What I'm going to do is also change uh, his date of birth to a little bit older. I'll make him as old as uh, Alex Albon. For example, I think he's two years older or something. So I'm going to use uh, copy, uh, paste, uh, boom. And I'm going to use Alexander Albon's DOB as well. Where is he? There he is. Boom. Copy is basically it's going to be at the same age as Alex Albon. There we go. Um, and now, um, what you are going to need to remember now as well. Uh, basically, you can do here the same stuff in this screen as you did with uh, Anthony Leclerc. You can uh, change his uh, retirement age. I'll make that uh, uh, let's say 45, and for the rest, it's it's basically the same as what I did before. So we don't need this for now. Um, what we're going to do, we are going to have to look up this driver code as well for uh, Malvestiti. Uh, I know what it is by memory, but I'm going to show you um, anyway for you guys. Uh, the idea, uh, the staff ID for Malvestiti is 269. So we're going to have to use that number uh, to look up uh, what his driver code is. His driver code is in uh, staff uh, driver data. There it is. Uh, staff ID. What did I just say? 269, I believe. 269. Yes, there it is. Driver 269, and his driver code is FMA. Um, so what we are going to do is insert a new code in this table as well. Plus, um, anyways, this back to placeholder that has to be like the clerk's name. 
a P is used in the clerk's name if you can. Because mm -hmm. else this won't work. Uh -huh. I'll just save it in between for now. You can do that by uh, clicking uh, File on the top left and then go to uh, Save Your Adjustments or Save Edits, uh, whatever it's called in, uh, in English. There. Uh, this driver code needs to be the same for 291 as Malvis TD because we're going to use his names to, to change up in the game. Uh, where is he? 269 was he? Where, where, is he? where is he? 269, where are you? There you are. So we're going to copy his code and shift insert it in this line there. Uh, I'm going to save this as well in case this goes wrong again. Okay, saved. Uh, once championship driver number, in this case we'll do no. So we'll have to press in zero, last known driver number, let's say 75, doesn't really matter basically. Uh, he's going to be a free agent, so we're not going to assign him a car number for now. Uh, has raised enough to join F1. This can be glitched at times, this option right here, so it's easier to give him a contract basically. Um, in some cases, some cases it works um, in one go. Uh, it's a little bit iffy. So 291. Uh, 292 excuse me is going to be our driver um, we have done the common data we have done the driver data right now so we're gonna uh, you yeah we're not gonna give him a contract so do, we don't have to do that uh, at the moment so we can basically skip uh, to the part where we do his stats because we don't even need his driver number because he's a free agent again uh, basically so we go we go back to staff uh, perform oh before I leave the screen is improvability 292 you can change it but to whatever you want I see uh, here the the sta the the stuff uh, the stuff has all changed back again which is pretty annoying but uh, well uh, you can always edit that in the database later again um, so we'll leave this as is for now uh, so we're gonna go to the performance stats staff performance stats there we go uh, let's see here well, luckily all the stats of 291 are still in there so that's good now, again, we have to insert stats for a new guy who is 292, stat ID number 2, well, he has a max of 100, but this guy is going to suck uh, like hell, so uh, we're going to make him a 35 at, uh, what is it, at cornering, there you go, well, we're going to have to do this again a few more times, 47 out of 100 for skill number 3, which is breaking, Scroll down in case I forget. 292, skill 4, max 100, skill 4 is control. Well, he's gonna have a lot of control. 95, it's fantastic. Let's go on to 92. Stat ID 5 is smoothness. Now, this dude is smooth as hell, so let's make him 98 out of, uh, out of 100. And boom. Mm -hmm. Plus again for skill number six, which is adaptability. Well, 292. We're gonna make him a little bit more bad at that. So let's give him a 40 out of 100. Uh, adaptability uh, six was the last one. So we're gonna back, go back to overtaking, which is skill number seven. 292. We're gonna need to have his ID here. Let's use 55 out of 100. Uh, there is a formula um, which. Uh, which uh, sums up the overall of the driver. I don't. We have it in the F1 Manager mod Discord, uh, but I completely forgot what this uh, what this uh, sum is basically. So what this average is going to be. Uh, let's go on to skill number eight in this case for driver 292, uh, which is going to be like uh, 64 out of 100. Skill eight, by the way, is defense, as you remember uh, correctly. Then uh, we go to skill number 9, let's put in 44 out of 100, skill 9 it was acceleration, so he's going to be a little bit slow out of accelerating at the start, and uh, there we go, and the last skill is going to be number 10, stat ID number 10, 4 driver 292, value, uh, value, let's see, number 10 is accuracy, well let's give him a 50 uh, on that. There we go, and we have that in our save as well. So, just to recap, I'm gonna go back to staff common data. Uh, where 
is it? Staff coming data. There we go. So our driver has the info of Federico Malvestidi, and his driver code was FMA. Remember that. So we have basically finished editing our drivers. We have a free agent uh, in the form of Federico Malvestidi, which we have to rename in another file. I'm going to get to that in a moment. And we're going to have Anthony Leclerc, which exists from uh, existing uh, names in game. So we don't have to do anything with Anthony Leclerc anymore. So when you're done, just save your adjustments. There you are. Uh, and for now, you can just uh, close the database down because we're finished editing, basically. We still have this in the background running. That's good. Um, so what are we going to do now? We need to change the head database to change the names uh, of our driver um, but what i'm going to do first i'm going to finish this with the save file first because uh, we need uh, like if you remember we unpacked it to be able to edit it but we have to repack it again to make it a usable save file for our game uh, and it was if you remember correct save 2.sav and it was uh, our main file here in the results folder which we were editing right now. So what are we gonna do if we're finished with this? If we finish up with this and you still have your command run uh, line running on the location we had earlier, um, we go uh, into my document right here and I have at the bottom a purple line which you have to use in your command line. So I'm gonna copy this, copy with the right clicker uh, and here, if this thing works, shift insert to use it. Well, as you can see, the commands operation repack, uh, dash dash, blah, blah, blah. But the last part in here is autosave.save, which is wrong. You have to call this part right here uh, to whatever your game is called, uh, your save game. And in our case, it is save to point save. Again, if your save game is called, save 69 call this save 69.sav is it called save 250 your save game here your line needs to be save 250.sav after you've done this enter it will skip uh, very quickly again to your location which means your save game has been edited and uh, which means we can go to our save file repacker we can just copy and paste again uh, our save we had in our save file repacker folder i'll copy it right here you can go back to your um, to your local uh, save files which was uh, in my case my c disk users chesco app data our hidden map local uh, f1 manager 22 uh, saved save games and there is our original file here save 2 i'm just gonna overwrite it because i don't need the original basically I'm gonna paste it it's gonna ask me to replace it yes that's good boom there we go it now has a new time here because we just edited this uh, this file so it's now gonna be instead of one past uh, nine o'clock it's gonna be um, a half past uh, 21 uh, excuse me it was one past nine first not uh, half past anything so what are we gonna do now we are going to need to uh, to be able to use our custom names we are gonna need to unpack our uh, uh, Volta point Locres. Now, how do you do that? Uh, you will have to download the program called F Model. It's included in the link on the drive. You can download it. Uh, I've installed F Model uh, on my computer in Program Files. As you can see, the C disk, Program Files, F Model. Here is the application. Uh, it has an output folder where you can get your extract maps, uh, which I'm gonna uh, explain in a minute. So here are our exports gonna be. Now we, we can open FModel as an administrator. Um, you will have to forgive me for a moment because uh, in my case I've already loaded my location, so these files are in your um, in your game path so where you have installed uh, f1 manager in my case uh, it's in steam uh, in that whole location where it says up until pack uh, that's where it's selected how do you do this basically 
um, you go to directory first press on selector uh, you can add an undetected game here um, you can call it F1 Manager 2022 and then you have to select the directory uh, and as I said it's gonna be uh, wherever your Steam is uh, installed uh, you go to Steam Apps Common F1 Manager uh, F1 Manager again uh, Content Packs this is where these pack files right here are all saved basically these are your edit files basically uh, or your your content files um, in my case I've already done this if you uh, have not done this press select folder basically uh, I can cancel this basically um, when you're done selecting this location you can do plus uh, I might uh, have skipped a step and uh, you are gonna need the the hacking key to be able to edit these files which is called the AES key which is also included in uh, the drive. The AES key, you can select it by pressing here on directory AES, and you can just copy and paste it right here. It still works for version uh, 1.8. So you can just paste, copy it here, uh, or copy, paste, excuse me, press OK. And in that case, when you do the directory, when you select the directory, these files will appear. Um, I've done this a few times before, so I know the files uh, we need, the Volta point locrest to change the name uh, of the drivers. It's going to be in pack chunk, uh, pack chunk 0 dash windows no editor point pack. So I'm going to double click on it, and FMOD was going to load uh, the contents of this file. Uh, and I'm, I am going to need to be F1 manager, uh, content, localization, Volta and my game version is English so I'm gonna need the English version if you have another language you just have to pick whatever whatever is in here uh, I'm gonna need this English the Volta Locris like I said this is the file we need and uh, I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna click on export raw data so I've done that it's already completed well basically I can just close this up because I'm not gonna need it for now anymore uh, I still had the directory of F model in here. I'm going to output. I'll just show you one moment if you need to set this location as well and where you can set it. Uh, if you don't know where it outputs, just go to settings in F model, and here is your output directory. As you can see with me, it's in program files itself. F model output, and there is where it exports everything you need. Um, I would keep that setting the same so you can find it always more quickly. Uh, and if you're smarter than me, you'll just pin it uh, to your desk uh, top, to your uh, to your bar down here. I haven't done that. So basically, I'm gonna need to go to exports, uh, and you can see here here are all the extracted maps you just extracted with F model. Uh, you have to go until the, the very end. English. Here is the Volta Locres. Now, to be able to open this file, you need to download. Uh, the Unreal Engine Localizations 1.8 I have included this in the drive as well um, where I have installed this in my case uh, doesn't really matter basically that much uh, for me it's uh, C program files and as you can see the Unreal Engine 4 Localizations to 1.8 I'm gonna open this run as an administrator there we go uh, there's, I will not download an update for now because I don't need it. Uh, and we're going to need to open this uh, Volta Locres basically um, to be able to edit it. Um, we're going to open it by pressing on File, Open. Uh, I'm going to do this from the beginning on because if you can remember where you extracted the file, you'll be able to find it for yourself forever. Um, so it was Program Files, F Model, Outputs, Exports, and we're going to skip through all these maps here, and there's the Volta Locres opened it and now here are all the game lines uh, to uh, now that you can now read uh, within the game or uh, with uh, localizations uh, excuse me but we have to go and edit a few things because if you remember we made a second driver called uh, what was it uh, Federico Malvestidi and we have to go and change that um, so what are we gonna do is uh, we're gonna press tool and we're going to need to export all text with names. Boom. 
where do you want to extract this to make it easier for yourself just extract it to your desktop uh, keep the name as it is Volta Locris uh, it's gonna make a text file I already have an example there so I can just uh, replace it and override it thank you successful export and we're gonna have to look it up uh, where it is where are you where are you my boy where are you where are you there it is Volta Locris I'm gonna open it with notepad so what I'm gonna do um, we were using uh, the names of Federico and Novastidi as front and last names. So we are going to have to look up his names, front and last, by pressing Ctrl F. Uh, and I'm going to call, I'm going to look for Federico and enter. And as you can see, staff name, forename, male Federico. In this case, we are going to change it to, well, my name. In this case, you can change it in whatever you want, but it's Chesco. So if a driver has this code line in uh, his database, he will be not called Federico anymore, but Chesco. You can just change it. Well, his last name is Melvestidi, but we have to kind of change that. Uh, do remind uh, yourselves that every driver called Federico in this game, once it's being regenerated, will be called Chesco. Uh, that's just the way it is. Unfortunately, we cannot add custom lines here. We can only edit existing ones. Remember that. Melvestidi, where are you? Enter. There it is. His surname. This line code, staff name, surname Melvestidi is not going to be Melvestidi anymore. No, we are going to make him a lover boy just to be fun with it. Um, now we have to kind of change his driver code still, so his abbreviation in game, which in his case was FMA. We're going to uh, press that as well. FMA, let's say, well, now we found him. Driver code FMA. Well, I've called my driver lover boy by last name now, so I'm just going to make it LOV. Uh, I can close this because we've now had all the lines we had to change. Uh, just remember, every for everyone who is going to be regenerated in the game, uh, like uh, Melvis TD, is going to be called Lover Boy, and this abbreviation will be LOV uh, from now on in the game. Um, you can just save this text pad. You can close it down. Now, what you can do now, go back. To your localization tool because I hadn't closed it, I just had it uh, minimized. Go to tool and then import all text. Well, now it asks you from where do you want to import all the text. Well, uh, the Volta Locris you just added it the node file which was in the desktop. You say, uh, uh, Yes, please do open uh, successful import, and there it is. So, um, basically. Uh, because I extracted this uh, from fmodel directly, I don't need to do anything anymore now in this case. Uh, but we are going to have to repack this database file, this Volta file, into a file our game can read. Because uh, we exported it, but we have to import it back into the game. So how am I going to do that at the moment? Um, it's basically a little bit of the same as we did here. A little bit. Uh, not completely um, so what are we gonna do you can close down the localizations file because we finished with that we are gonna go back to our um, file explorer here we're gonna go back to our exports uh, of f models so program files uh, f model output exports and you can just cut from up from here as soon as you see f manager f1 manager 22 cut it take it out of that map and you can put it uh, in this case I've made a map uh, on the on the desktop which is called mods uh, with in there it has a two pack uh, it's called the map uh, I'm gonna delete this for a moment this is an old file which I don't need at the moment and um, this is one of my old punk checks just ignore that for now ignore that please completely so we are gonna go uh, and we need to put uh, the folders we just copied in here so I'm gonna paste them in here yes please so there we go now for this uh, part I uh, do need uh, my uh, my guide again because I don't know this by heart basically um, so what we're gonna do we need our command line again there it is well, hopefully you've installed uh, by this time, uh, just open a new screen for your command prompt basically because we're going to need this location right here. Um, you will have to look up your installation of Unreal Engine. Um, 
and that is going to be in my case in uh, program files uh, epic games as you can see unreal engine 427 engine binaries in my case windows 64 and you need uh, this is a guide this link uh, will be in the um, in the discord uh, in the discord as well. it's in the discord for the manager mods uh, for the mod managers uh, and for um, and in in the video as well uh, on you need unreal pack exit here uh, unfortunately it's alphabetically but i have lost my ability to read here's the exit file unreal pack it's called right click uh, copy as a path or even easier you can just open the command screen and you can drag it into here and as you can see uh, this will appear uh, between quotes you just drag it from uh, your location into the into the CMD list or you can just uh, right click copy as path and then paste it in here uh, then it's gonna need a space so let's see if I have a space here boom I'll put the quote back in and the space uh, Luckily, I've cheated on this part because I uh, my memory is crap basically. Uh, so mods a two pack because I don't know what I have to put in there again. Uh, put a line for in the command. Uh, ah yes, uh, I want to make a new uh, pack uh, with uh, for my Volta which I just added, uh, which I can do. I can just copy this part. This file will be in the drive as well. So boom. I go back to my command and there was a space in here I'll just shift insert uh, if you have another mod which is called uh, number one already so window pack chunk zero wins uh, you can just rename it into another number in my case I'm just gonna uh, call it number nine just uh, to make it a little bit more easier mm -hmm. and I have to put in this little part as well so after this oops let's go to the end here point back Point back dash create is here you can stop writing you go back to your to pack folder and uh, this little file right here uh, is very useful uh, I'll just include it in the uh, in the in the drive as well excuse me uh, sometimes I just lose my lines here basically and you can just drag this in here directly behind create and I hope this works in one time let's press enter voila you have now made a new pack this way uh, in my case it just appeared here uh, in the pack chunk of windows no editor uh, number nine this file goes into your uh, game folder of course so what we're going to do now is uh, with this I'll just cut it and paste it so I'm going to have to look up my game folder in this moment. C, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, F1 manager, uh, F1 manager, contact, packs, right click, paste. This should basically do it. We are going to close this down everything can be closed down there we go we are now gonna open f1 manager 22 I'm I hope you can still hear me after this so our game is starting up we'll just skip these parts Thank you very much. And as you can see, our main screen already shows um, a custom driver, which is going to be the first one. That's Anthony the Clerk. But let's see if we actually pull it off. So we're going to load the save right here. Load it. Well, at the moment, this here it says it's vacant, so you have to give him a new contract. That means, but as you can see, it is Anthony the Clerk, which we have made. He's all 90 for exception of defending where he is 60 and you can just give him a new contract and that will be it. Now, the other driver basically you can find in the free agents list. I think he was 22 years old or 25. I don't remember at the moment. Uh, let's see his age. Uh, or 22 or 25, something like that. Or 21 maybe at the, uh, at the edge of. 
And where are you, my boy? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Why is it still called Federico Velomosti? This is so this is these are the most annoying parts basically. Uh, I did save it, right? Yeah, I did save it. So why isn't he called? Well, the, basically this is when your database doesn't work in one time. Very annoying. Uh, this should have worked basically. So, oh, I don't know why it hasn't worked. Uh, why hasn't this worked? This is so annoying. One moment. Let me check. Let me check. Where is his name? Uh, Federico. We have two. We have two versions now, as you can see. This was our guy right here, which we made. He was 25. The, 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 the guys with the before you can't see stats so we're gonna go back to the editor because I believe something went wrong there and we're gonna edit our save again because I think it's gone wrong there basically because I don't know why this would go wrong at the moment uh, except for that the database hasn't saved uh, whatever we wanted to save so we're gonna go back to our save game C uh, users Chesco app data local phone manager saved save games we are gonna copy you again save to copy get back here I'm gonna paste it replace it I'm gonna delete the old result folder because I have to unpack this again now bloody hell this is gonna take a long long time but basically this is this can happen you guys this can go wrong basically this went good every time except for now uh, but basically it, it will only make the video a little bit longer so that's not really a, a problem like that so uh, if you have this as well just go back to your files I need my file because I don't know everything from heart unfortunately we're gonna take we're gonna repeat a few steps there we go mm -hmm. Now I'll do it a little bit more quicker because we know what to do basically. Uh, save to that save. Boom. Our result. Uh, we need this. Run as administrator. Why hasn't this worked at the moment? This is very weird. So see. Where are you, my dude? Where are you? Save the reflect or result main. Staff, common data. Where are you, staff? Common data. I need you right now. Where are you, uh, staff? Common data. Staff, common data. Browse for table. What happened with our 292? He is called here Federico Malvestiri. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Very good. So. What probably went wrong is something with our Volta database. So what I'm gonna do again, and uh, this apparently is just fine. So this isn't it. We can leave that as is. We are gonna have to go back to F model. I am gonna delete the export. Uh, oh, it's already gone, so that's even better. Uh, what I'm gonna do here uh, to mod to pack I'm gonna delete this one uh, just to be sure empty the recycle mm -hmm. well even better what I can do is run this as an administrator right now and I'll make it uh, even better for you at the run no I don't want to update the application I'm gonna do uh, the selector the thing I didn't do with you guys uh, back uh, back then I'm gonna delete this one so there you can see add an undetected game I'm gonna call it F1 manager 2022 look up the files where are they uh, program files mm. steam 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 where are you there steam uh, steam apps common F1 manager engine oh sorry F1 manager F1 manager uh, content packs so folder this was one of the earlier steps you pull on the plus there it is boom mm -hmm. press load archives put it single put it multiple let's see
we're gonna get basically repeat the steps we did uh, at the last uh, step English export the raw data it's all completed thank you very much so we'll close it down exports I have to dive in here well, actually we don't we need the localizations tool basically where is it program files in my case localization so let's do everything as an administrator right here because I absolutely do not know why this didn't work because it basically had to work um, C program files you're hidden in the export so we're gonna need to pull you out of there open it up Fantastic. Export all text with names again. On the desktop, we have you already there. You, yes, we are gonna replace you. Mm -hmm. We are gonna. Uh, we have exported it, so we're gonna open you again. And we're gonna look for FMA. What did I do here? Something went wrong here, basically, because this didn't save. So we're gonna call him LOV again. Thank you very much. Elvis TD is a lover boy, we said. And Federico is going to change into Jesco. And this should be basically. Okay, again. So I'm going to save it and close it. Let's open it just one more time to make sure. FMA. Oh, basically it's all good. Fantastic. So we're gonna do what we did before. Tool, import all text. Let me just refresh this just to be sure. Open it. Yes, successful import. Thank you. Maybe I forgot to click save in the first time. That's a possibility. So we're gonna save it. Uh, ah, yes, that is what I'm stupid. Excuse me. You have to forgive me. Uh, we have to gonna. What I didn't do in the last uh, the last time. You have to forgive me for this. Press save. Uh, go to your exported folder. I'm so stupid. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, exports. And for many, this is basically where the Volta is. Uh, Volta Locus. There you go. Boom. Here we save it. Do you want to replace this? Yes, of course. Oh, I'm so stupid. I didn't see this before. Uh, sometimes you just forget a step when you do this uh, like a hundred thousand times uh, now we can do what we wanted to do last cut it put it into your to pack folder uh, where you have it uh, basically stored paste it yes thank you I can leave this for now basically uh, I can remove the number six I can give it another name so now I have to open up my command prompt again I have to kind of look up real quick uh, where Unreal Engine is for me Epic Games Unreal Engine binaries you still remember these folders Windows 64 the, the more you do it the more easier and quicker it goes sometimes it goes so quick that you just skip a step uh, like me in this case so excuse me again uh, I'm gonna just drag this in here dragged in there I still had my cheat line somewhere where the hell did I have it here mods boom uh, to pack this was my cheat uh, line basically so I can just put in here this copy this uh, I needed that space so I'm gonna do this a little space shaved insert uh, and then I needed that other file here the path text I can drag this behind create enter again enter thank you uh, I've called it number six right uh, oh no I've called it number one in this case um, again that's not a disaster uh, I just did it in a hurry what you can do you can just rename this if you have another number one already which is uh, used as a mod so I'm just gonna put this what the hell do I put it number 10 boom cut put it in my game folder steam 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 where are you steam oh my god steam steam apps common you know this f1 manager f1 manager content packs and paste there it is 
And number nine we can delete because that was a test object basically that can go out the door. Number ten is in here. So if we open it now, now it should work. Oh my god, I forget the last step. Excuse me. Once again. As if it wasn't a long video enough at the moment. So I hope this uh, will have helped you guys uh, with this. And it means you'll have to watch until the end. <laughs> oh boy, boy, boy. Well, again, I'm going to load this career. Haas. There we go. And I think we'll get it right this time. Now again, the waking driver is going to be Anthony the Clerk. That's all good. Driver scout them. Uh, let's do the name. He's going to be called the lover boy, right? Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Uh, lover boy. Ah, there he is, our boy, Jesco Loverboy. But as I said, Federico Malvestiti is going through life now, or everyone called Federico is going to be Jesco, and everyone called Malvestiti is going to go with the last name of Loverboy. In this case, this man is a free agent. Uh, oh, he has uh, announced his retirement, which is bloody stupid. But uh, in this case, that is why I said earlier, give him a contract. The, it's easier to put him in your team like that. Uh, it's, it's a little bit more uh, safer to do it that way uh, this is just stupid uh, I don't know this is just a glitch they just keep doing this sometimes uh, the driver so basically uh, it did work uh, our names work uh, the drivers work we can test it basically very quickly go to uh, go, 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 go yeah sure no I don't want party move it move it move it stop 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 go 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 continue 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 yes sure do I have this like this guarantee with one car thank you and now we can go on right to the race we can you'll see uh, oh it's gonna go why is it crashing why is it bloody crashing at the moment uh, oh I think I know why this, you shouldn't worry about this I think this is crashing because I have another mod running uh, which is uh, making it a little bit difficult to read these two things at once Am I lying or am I not lying? I have to check this for you guys one moment. Oh my god, when this thing doesn't work, it's just annoying sometimes. Well guys, to be honest, I have one explanation why this isn't working. Um, I don't know if it's the right explanation. Um, since we've had the update um, with FModel, uh, sometimes it loads your old packs. Uh, I've been editing them since the earlier version of the game. Um, the only thing I can think of which will um, which will solve this problem basically uh, is um, either check your database see if Kevin Magnuson's contract is deleted if his driver numbers are deleted if you haven't saved that correctly because uh, I made a mistake in my run as well uh, try before you use fmodel uh, if you've used it in the past with an older version of the game just reinstall it cleanly um, those are those kinds of things can help you uh, go a long way basically um, so try those please uh, before you uh, before you get into problems like I have right now um, this will uh, you this worked for me earlier uh, this has worked for other guys as well uh, this is the way to do it um, so even though we have not a success in this video uh, this is how you should do it um, so just heed my advice especially the last part uh, I hope uh, you've enjoyed this uh, I hope you've learned a little bit you know I'm uh, I hate it that it doesn't work what I can do uh, for you at the moment right now for example I can show you my own packs which I made uh, these are these here uh, I can just copy them there 
least. This might as well not have worked because I didn't close Steam or something like that. This is so something stupid like that might have caused this basically. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you basically uh, a little version of my own save which I made. It's gonna take a little while before it can load. So don't skip the little stuff, close your game when you're editing it uh, or when you're replacing files and stuff like that because maybe it, it, this, this, these things can cause a crash as well unfortunately. Um, it isn't as stable as we would like at the moment. Mm -hmm. My uh, my custom saves were made with Ferrari, so I'll see you, uh, I'll make you see the drivers I've made here, uh, if it works at least. Uh, da -da -da -da. Here I've made myself basically uh, with my own sexy face, so you can even uh, with F model uh, and Unreal Engine. Uh, make your own driver. Don't look at the picture because uh, I have uh, like a small Mac, so basically this uh, does, this look, and I'm not good at Photoshop, so this looks basically uh, if you make your own driver. This is how it looks when it works. So uh, again, thank you for your trust. <laughs> uh, this is basically it. Um, again, enjoy your games. Uh, try to edit the mod as well uh, for yourself. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, and it uh, only will give you more satisfaction when it works. So have a good night and uh, thank you uh, for keeping up for so long. Bye bye.